Welcome to Shepherd Middle School, where 6th grade teacher Ashley Escamilla has her ELA students working hard on a technology integrated project for the Hunger Games. This activity is part of an entire unit which included reading the story, creating advertisements for the book, and designing characters from the story. The students have been most excited about creating book trailers for the story using software programs such as Microsoft PowerPoint and PhotoStory. The teacher has been pleasantly surprised with the level of excitement her students now have when entering her classroom each day. I needed them to be able to summarize um, the book. And I didn't, most of their summaries usually consist of a page. I needed them to condense that. So I needed them to give me a summary with all of their uh, slides. So they were able to do that. I also wanted them to um, be able to peer edit, to be able to look at someone else's work and fix maybe what they had done wrong, whether it was capitalization or it was punctuation. Um, one of the biggest things is the name of the book is The Hunger Games, and when they all typed it in, uh, The Hunger Games wasn't capitalized. So it was neat when they were walking and doing their peer editing around the computer lab to say, okay, well, you have to title, or if it's a title, you need to make sure that it's capitalized. So they went back and were able to change that. So I was able to integrate so many things. It was summary, uh, peer editing, um, going back and making sure that they had completely done it. They edited their own work and they liked doing it. But that's what I loved is they can do that and I can sit them in a classroom and they will struggle with having to go back and look at a paper, whereas it's on a computer and it just changes everything. And we were working with book trailers. Um, first, I introduced it in my classroom. I had them prepare. We had read the book. I wanted them to um, be ready when they were inside the computer lab to start typing away, but I wanted them to first know what they were going to do. So before I took them into the lab, we outlined what we were going to do. We folded our paper and made it like a PowerPoint slide. We had nine different slides and they were able to um, start with the title page and end with um, their name at the end and what they really liked about the book. Um, after we did their um, outline. Then I took them into the computer lab. We had them all enter in their IDs. They thought it was great that they had their own um, drive so that they could save everything and it was their folder where they saw all of their work. So they all entered into their um, ID numbers and once they sat down I walked them through PowerPoint, just some of the familiar things, um, how to change their background, um, how big the word should be if someone's reading it, how it needed to make sense. That was one of the big things was when they were writing they had to make sure that when someone watched their book trailer it told them about that story. So they were able to type in all of their um, information into PowerPoint. They ended up saving their PowerPoint to their IDs to their folder. Then they had to open that, and that was the tricky part for them, knowing that they had to save everything, and they were going to open it into photo story and then be able to create their video where they could add music and they could do transitions. Um, they could even talk in narrate the entire book trailer. They thought that was the greatest. So you saw the students with their microphones just reading what they had written um, and it they loved it and I just loved that they were so engaged that they enjoyed writing and they enjoyed integrating technology into their lesson. Well we're using PowerPoint on the computers and we're doing like photo story like to make videos for the trailer of the Hunger Games. Well, it might help like in video games or like in movies to like make them to like be a certain like, type like the music and all that so can at least know how to do it. I like to do that again because it helped me how to make a video and it makes me like know how to like exactly do it. Um, well, we're using PowerPoint and then we moved the PowerPoint to Photo Story where we had music and like speed, how fast we want it to go or how slow we want it to go. And it, it helps you get more creative and you get to choose your own things. I hope that they're able to take this into their next grade. I know some of them talk about how they were familiar with it in my class, so when they showed it to them in math, they knew what to do. So that encourages me to just put more technology into my classroom. 
My advice is to take the time to do it. It's not only going to benefit the students, but it helps the teacher as well get familiar with these things that you wouldn't be familiar with if you didn't just take the time to learn it. My students now enjoy coming to class. I have them come in and ask, are we going to go to the computer lab? Are we going to use the clickers? Are we going to um, use PowerPoint? They enjoy it. And what better classroom can you have than a class of kids that enjoy what they're doing? It's also helping them with um, just learning simple concepts, summarization, uh, capitalization, punctuation, all of this, and they're going to be able to incorporate that to when I need them to work in class on paper. They have looked at the computer and they and they understand it on a computer, but when it comes back to them doing it on paper, they love it. They're coming back and they're actually working for me.